Welcome to the Cola Shalom, my Wells. Nice having a being on the show again. Definitely, Shalom says Shalom to the Colas. Afternoon times, everybody. All right, so today we're going to go straight into it. Mm-hmm. The, the topic again is World War Three, right? But before we get into that topic, um, let's go into the Ephesians. Mm-hmm. Book of Ephesians, chapter 6 and verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, right? So when I come in on this, this show and I talking about, you know, the religious leaders, they don't understand the Bible. And, you know, and black people all should stop smoking weed. Black people all stop be drug dealers and making all the black brothers and sisters go on the streets. Because, again, the number one people on the streets is black people. When I come on this radio station, I tell black people to do the right thing. All is not my enemies. Right. Right? Because we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Flesh and blood in the Bible is your brother and your sister. Right. Right? You are what your father is we came who came off the transatlantic slave ships you is my flesh and blood right. the chinese is not my flesh and blood right the the, the the africans is not my flesh and blood right the east indians is not my flesh and blood the one percent is not my flesh and blood you black man who get who innocently locked up in prison right now use my flesh and blood that's right all right and my fight is not you so don't feel like I'm, I'm attacking you because I tell you to do the right thing. Right. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. And you is my flesh and blood, I'm black man. So right. I'm not wrestling against you. Continue. That's right. But against principalities, mm-hmm. yeah. against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Right, so against principalities, powers, and rulers of the darkness of this world. You know who we wrestling against? We wrestling against the 1%. Right. We're wrestling against the East Indians. When right. they go in the bank, and because it's a black man, you can't get a loan for a hundred thousand dollars. It's so easy for the bank to get somebody a loan for a car, but it's hard to get a loan for a house. Right. They designed that system for black people mm-hmm. because there's only black people who don't have that sufficient enough money to get a, a loan for a house. Right. So they go say, um, if a house qualified for three hundred thousand. The bank will say, well, all right, I'll give um, 90% of that. Mm-hmm. But later, come and ask her, car loan, they gain 100%. Mm. You understand? Right. But for you to put um, um, a roof over your head, it making it hard for a black man to do that. Right. Go ahead. And here's the thing about it. They were so disgusting about what it is happening with this financial system out here. People that made the credit rating, a man that have over 800, which is a very high credit score, and working as an engineer in Microsoft, they deny him refinancing of his house. So now you know, you cannot say that there's a financial incapacity or he's incapable of paying, you know, back his, 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 what you call it, his, his mortgage and all that. It's really and truly systematic oppression against mm-hmm. black people and that is what we have to see. Yeah. And when, and when you watch at all the managers, you know, the, the, when you watch at the majority of managers who own those banks, is East Indians. Right. You understand? East Indians and 1%. Them is the ones who own those banks. Right. So my fight, black man, is not against you. You use my flesh and blood. Mm-hmm. But the rulers of the darkness of the world, the principalities, the people who have powers. Right. Them is who we wrestling against. Right. Because when you as a black man walk into the bank, mm-hmm. they gain your loan easy, easy for um, let me say a uh, ten thousand or five thousand. Right. But you say let me get a loan for a million dollars now. Let me, let me feel rich now. They say no, you attack collateral, you, you have land, you, you have money save up. You know what I mean? These black people that came out of slavery. You understand? What did we have? And even if our four parents had it, because a lot of people like to say that, our four parents had land and they sell it. Well, guess what? Our four parents didn't know any better. Mm-hmm. Because when the East Indians came off the Fatal Razak and they got land, the white man educated them about the land. Mm-hmm. So they knew what to do with the land. Mm-hmm. But we who are slaves, we who don't know any better, we just end up selling it or we just end up walking off of the land. Mm-hmm. and leaving it you understand so our fight is not against you black man our fight is against the rulers like darkness are holy people who own them banks the east indians the one percent continue go ahead against spiritual wickedness in high places against spiritual wickedness in high places when i turn on the tv every drug dealer is a black man if you see some drug dealer who's a, um, a white man or i see it's just about one or two game i see right you understand just watch that power how much white people compared to black is drug dealers right you know why they're doing that because they want to subliminally let every other race mm-hmm. on the earth believe that black people is nothing 
else but only drug dealers, murderers, um, rapists, um, wagon murderers, pimps, pimps mm-hmm. thugs. Mm-hmm. So they're trying to push that into the minds of the other people on the earth. Right. That anytime you see a black man, mm. he's a murderer or some drug dealer or some thug. Mm-hmm. You understand? So we rest. Um, read over that scripture again. Definitely. Book of Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. For you wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high mm-hmm. places. Spiritual wickedness in high places. So black man, though, again, this has nothing to do with you. When I say do smoke, um, do celebrate our drugs because you're going to punish you. Don't, don't hate me. I'm not fighting against you. I'm trying to make your life better. Right. You understand? Because if you don't sell your black brother drugs, mm-hmm. our one nation will grow so big, we will end up taking over the youth. That's right. But once you continue selling your own black brother drugs, boy, mm-hmm. we could be on the streets, we could be the number one with schizophrenia, mm-hmm. number one people who bipolar and end up in St. Tans. Mm-hmm. So I had a lot of stuff selling a lot of black people on drugs. Right. When the East Indians and the Chinese come, come off of the, the boat, and they, they give all our drugs to sell all our black people, tell them no all the water. Right. You understand? Them is the, the ones in high places who, who we're wrestling against. Right. But not you, black man, because you is my flesh and blood. Right? So go in the Revelation um, 7 and 1. Come you understand? As I always say, um, Trinidad has so much money. Mm-hmm. You understand? But the money just go in a circle. Politicians, businessmen. Polit- the, the 1% businessmen, politicians. That is, that is where the money go in. You understand? Um, black people just they suffering, and I'm specifically saying black people because again, we is the ones who need saving. Right. Don't feel them like Indians need saving. Them East Indians don't need saving. Mm-hmm. Black people need saving. Right. You understand? That money was Trinidad so rich it have enough money to give everybody at least a hundred thousand dollars in their bank account, mm-hmm. and not poor family. Eh? Mm-hmm. Every person mm-hmm. could get at least a hundred thousand in their bank account. And start them off um, afreshly, mm-hmm. but it don't happen because the, the country is small and it corrupt and it just want the, the rich to get richer and the poor to remain poor. Mm-hmm. That is all it is. And who's the ones who poor? It's black people. Who's the ones who poor? So we had a when, when they turn on the TV, you see it. Black people robbing this one, the thief in that one. I ain't saying the Indians don't rob and thief. The Indians does rob and thief. But when they watch the majority. Is because why we being oppressed, the East Indians not oppressed. Right. It's black people being oppressed mm-hmm. from this system that we're living in. You understand? You, you have, um, okay, you hear the, the, the um, union leaders was always talking about, um, you, you can't make it mandatory. The, the job don't make it mandatory. All right, the prime minister say he hung up the mandatory now, right? That's what they say. But up to now, you ain't hear Roger, you ain't hear Annie said talking about increasing people's salary. Right. Look how hard the nurses and them working in this pandemic. Mm. And Roger and none of them can come in the media and, and tell the Prime Minister, well, the same March you go increase people's salary or start negotiations. Mm-hmm. When they go in and start it, when they go and increase the nurses' salary. Mm-hmm. The nurses and them needed to work hard. Mm-hmm. The police officers, the Coast Guard, the Air Guard, everybody mm-hmm. need the increase in salary. But you don't hear it from these union leaders. Mm-hmm. You understand why you don't hear it from the union leaders? You understand? And that is what has amazed me. Probably, I, I don't know, that them is one of the, the businessmen or the politicians too. Mm-hmm. Right? But that money can't just remain in a circle alone. Everybody could get it. I mean, in the 80s, I think Trinidad used to make $14 million a day in the oil. Mm-hmm. $14 million a day. Where that money gone? Mm-hmm. You understand? Right. And this is not to blame one political party. There's all the parties and them had to get blamed for this. Right. All of them no matter who black people vote for, mm-hmm. we just always suffer. Mm-hmm. Right? This is why Ephesians 6 and 12 is so powerful. You is not my arm um, who are attacking black man. You, I ain't attacking you. I'm not wrestling against you. Mm-hmm. The people who are ruling over us, right. them is the ones who are wrestling against. Right. Not you, black man. That's right. Right? So um, let me go in the topic of World War III. Definitely. Re- so. Revelation chapter 7 and verse 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth. Right, so four angels were standing on the four corners of the earth, right? Now, um, I'll back up um, Biden in America, mm-hmm. right? The president, he said that um, he is going to try in his power to prevent World War Three. 
that what Biden says he's going to try his best to prevent World War Three. You understand? Because probably Biden and them know if once World War Three happened, they might not be in power anymore. That's right. You understand? But Biden is just delaying the inevitable. That's right. World War Three must happen. Right. You understand? So go ahead and read it over again. Go go on. On. Book of Revelation chapter seven and verse one. After the and after these things I saw the I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth. So four angels were standing on the four corners of the earth. Right, the four corners of the earth was, was east, west, um, north, and south. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm um, good. Holding the four winds of the earth. Right, holding the four winds of the earth. The winds of the earth is talking about um, destruction. Right. So these four angels, east, west, north, and south on the earth, mm -hmm. was holding the winds of the earth. The winds is destruction. It's not talking about, again, this John, he's seen a vision. It's talking about the holding of. Um, some breeze, mm -hmm. <laughs> you understand? What we're blowing on the earth, mm -hmm. right? This is not Christian mumbo jumbo here. These prophets are going to be teaching earlier what this revelation is talking about. Right. The wind was talking about destruction mm -hmm. again. You had a thing big when it when it saying wind in the Bible is talking like, like, a, like a hurricane, mm -hmm. right? Something violent, but this violent was destruction. Go ahead. Well, you got, that's mm -hmm. like when you see a nuclear blast right. and all the wind that is pushed with that kind of speed, you understand? From a distance, like that, so that they can get, you know, mm -hmm. an idea where it is. But I was really talking about just saying the other thing big. Yes, sir. Right? So, so that's it. So, so the four angels, mm -hmm. if the wind was talking about destruction, mm -hmm. the four angels was holding back World War Three. Right. That is what the four angels holding back. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like, like the Lord, he. The Lord wants World War III to come, but he's also laying the angels hold back on it. Mm -hmm. Because why? Because every every year, new people are coming to the truth. Mm -hmm. Right? And once it add up, then the Lord might say, all right, that is enough for look at Lego the winds. Unleash World War III. Mm -hmm. Unleash the destruction. Right. So right now, Biden's saying he's trying to prevent World War III. You understand? But he's just delaying the inevitable. It must happen. Right. You understand? Go ahead. That the wind should not blow. On the earth, mm -hmm. no on the sea, no on any tree. Mm -hmm. Verse two, and I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power of the living God. So the, he saw another angel ascending from the east, mm -hmm. having the seal of the living God. Now, the seal is talking about the shield, right? I mm mean, -hmm. um, no people just call it um, a star. Mm -hmm. What well, we just have one, but it's not a star. This is David's signature in Hebrew called mm -hmm. Dawada. Da. A triangle is mm -hmm. Da. Dawada. Mm -hmm. da. When you pay it together, it's like a signature. Right. David's signature. Mm -hmm. Right? That way it is, is a shield. Right. So the seal of the living God mm -hmm. was the, the, the triangle mm -hmm. inside another triangle. What all others call a star, which is really not a star. Mm -hmm. Right? That is the seal of the living God. David's signature that the angel was carrying. Right. Good. And he cried with a loud voice. To the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea mm -hmm. so again now so now these four angels was was the that angel coming from the east sat a crowd with a loud voice now mm -hmm. right and he was he was saying hey i'm here to again i'm good and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels he to cried with a loud voice to the four angels right mm -hmm. go ahead go on, go on. To whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. To whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, right? To whom it was given to um, hurt the earth, the planet earth, mm -hmm. and the sea is talking about the people. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Talking about World War Three. Mm -hmm. Right? So the four angels was given um, the order to, hey, once I let go them win, destroy mm -hmm. the earth, the sea, the tree, everything. Just right. destroy it. Mm -hmm. Destroy the sea, which is the people. Mm -hmm. Right? World War Three. That, mm -hmm. that. Another angel came from east and tell them four angels, don't do, do that as yet. Mm -hmm. Good. Verse 3, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. Right, so again the angel coming from the east telling the other four angels, do not let World War Three come as yet. That what I angel telling them, don't hurt the earth and the sea and the tree. Right, don't hurt nothing until we have sealed the servants in their forehead. Right, that seal on the servants in their forehead is talking about the truth. Right, 
It's talking about the people gaining the ISUPK and gaining the truth. Mm-hmm. Right? Once it have enough people who is in the truth, then it could unleash the wind mm-hmm. and cause World War Three. So Biden could talk how much he want to talk now that um, he's trying to prevent World War Three. If the Lord wants World War Three to come, the morning is going to come. Right. Yes, you know, and he just delaying the inevitable. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so and I'm good. Verse 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And, the, and there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. All right. So again, once they get 144,000, the Lord will say, all right, let me un- unleash them, them wins. Right. Unleash it once they get 144,000. Mm-hmm. So Biden could try his best. Again, he's just delaying the inevitable. Because World War Three is coming. Whether we like it or not, and I am praying that World War Three comes in the morning. Right. Because that is the only way that black people can get salvation mm-hmm. from this hell that we're going through. Mm-hmm. Every minute they turn on the TV, it's some black people, it's some murderer or thief. Mm-hmm. What I'm trying to tell you other races is that black people is only thieves and murderers. Mm-hmm. Nah, man, I will hold watch you to come in the morning, man. Mm-hmm. I get fed up at this place, and let me start a new one, a, a new earth. With a new Jerusalem and a new heaven. Mm-hmm. And the people who go be ruling the heaven is black people. Mm-hmm. Give me Revelation 6 and um, 1. one. Go on, mm-hmm. go on. The book of Revelation chapter 6 and verse 1. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. Right, so now, you have to understand the, the, um, the, Bi- the Bible, right? Um, the Bible is not in that order, right? So... It's not one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, right? Um, one o'clock, it will be six. Um, six o'clock, it will be one o'clock, right? But is, is everything happening at the same time, mm-hmm. right? The prophecies is happening at the same time. So now we're going to talk about the four horsemen, right? So um, I'm um, reading to you again, Tawada. I'm in the book. And I saw when the lamb opened, the, opened one of the seals. Right now, the lamb is talking about Jesus Christ. Right. Go ahead. And I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four be saying. So when Christ opened up the seal, I think it was seven seals. When Christ break the slot, mm-hmm. it was like thunder. They hear thunder, mm-hmm. right? And one of the beasts started talk saying, "What? Come and see. Come and see." When they read Revelations four, I think it is all the four beasts that the Lord create in heaven. Mm-hmm. does just be saying, "Holy, holy, holy, holy." Mm-hmm. Day and night, that is all they're saying, "Holy, holy, holy, holy." Mm-hmm. One day, some man finally was able to break one of the seals. Mm-hmm. And that was Christ, which was the lamb. Right. And one of the beasts stopped. Well, the beasts and them stopped saying, holy, holy. Mm-hmm. And it, it was like, it was so amazing. Who is this person break one of the seals? Mm-hmm. The beast said, nah, Allah come and see. Mm-hmm. That was happening here, right? here. Right. Right. It, it, it was a dramatic experience. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Verse 2. And I saw, and behold, a white horse. Right, he saw a white horse, right? And, Talking about Christ, go ahead. And he that sat on him had a bow. He that sat on him had a bow. He that sat on him was talking about the spirit of Christ. Mm-hmm. The spirit of Christ had a bow. Mm-hmm. Right? Go ahead. And the crown was given unto him. Right, and a crown was given unto him at authority. So Christ had a bow, because he ready to, um, to fight. Mm-hmm. Right, so he had a bow ready to fight. That crown was given unto him, talking about um, authority. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. And he went forth conquering and to conquer. And he went forth conquering, meaning when Christ died, Christ's spirit was still conquering on the earth because the prophets of the Lord kept what Christ taught and we kept teaching what Christ taught. So it's a fight. When you go in the Christian churches and a fight, everybody loves Christ- um, the pastors and them. If it's a drug dealer, if it's a murderer, a thief, you know, a homosexual, everybody loves the pastor. Because the things the pastor say, everybody loves it. But when they come in our school, you, you can't be no drug dealer or no, no homosexual or nothing like mm-hmm. that. Man. You had to change your ways. Mm-hmm. If you don't change your ways, you had to leave until you had to change your ways. Mm-hmm. You're making sure you change your ways. That's right. We don't say, I'm, I'm go, God, well, how does the pastor say God loves the, the, yeah, the sinner? He, he loves he the sinner, the but he mm-hmm. hates the sin. Mm-hmm. Or you can tell um, a drug dealer, God loves you, mm-hmm. but he hates what you're doing. Mm-hmm. I can remain a drug dealer. Right. You have to say, hey, God hates what you're doing. Mm-hmm. You understand? And he's going to punish you for being a drug dealer. Mm-hmm. That is why I see most of them drug dealers have to be hiding. Mm-hmm. They can't come out in the public and in the open. That is a curse from the Lord. Mm. 
You understand? Know yeah. Is either in prison you end up or you end up dead. Mm. If you're not a drug dealer. But then just stop selling the drugs. Right. And we come together as black people and pull the resources right. and build the economy. Right. right. So like I said, the thing is, what makes them so comfortable to go in the church? We're supposed right. to be the most holy place on the earth. Mm-hmm. You carry on only with free, but you go in the church? Yeah. <laughs> so what do you really, what do you, what do you really put the past and present courage inside of them? Mm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You understand? So I mean, where we was... It was well, three. Cut on, cut on. Just when we finish. We'll no, no, no. Continue from conquering. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that is it. Conquering and to conquer. Right. And to conquer, meaning in the future, mm-hmm. Christ spirit is still going to conquer mm-hmm. even when christ returned he's been still going to conquer right well, and he had opened the second seal i heard the second beast say come and see right so christ boss open the second seal mm-hmm. the other beast well everybody stop saying holy holy now because it's a dramatic experience who's this man boy mm-hmm. the second seal he boss too come and see earlier mm-hmm. well verse four and there went out another horse that was red and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. Right, another horse that was red and he sat there to take peace on the earth. Right, that was talking about World War Trees, wars, destruction. Mm-hmm. That way he was talking about. Give me the script, the piece up in Luke, I think it's Luke 1251. Yeah, Luke 1251, then oh, you okay. Matthew 25. Okay. The book of Luke chapter 12 and verse 51. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. Right, so this is Jesus Christ talking. Jesus Christ saying, Suppose ye. That I come to bring peace on earth. Go ahead. Mm. I tell you, nay, but rather division. Christ said, no. I tell you, nay. Talking about no. I tell you, no. I don't come to bring peace. I come right. to bring division. Right. So what we was learning in the Christian church all the time. Mm. If Christ said he come to bring division, what mm. was we learning in the Christian church all the time? Mm. Go ahead, give me one next one. Come on, come on. Book of Matthew chapter 25 and verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory... Mm-hmm. And all the holy angels with him. Right, so when Christ come through and with all the angels come with him, go ahead. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Mm-hmm. Then he shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, be rulership, go ahead. And before him shall be gathered all nations. Right, so all the nations, your nation is your race. Mm-hmm. All the races will be gathered before Christ. The Chinese, the East Indian, the white, all the races will be gathered before Christ, go ahead. And he shall separate them one from another. And he's going to separate every single race. Christ says, when Christ returns, he's not going to come back and say, everybody hold hands now and sing, Kumbaya na, Kumbaya, my Lord. Kun. <laughs> Christ is not coming back to do that. He's coming back to separate everybody. Right. And we black people will be the ones ruling over every single race. That's right. Just like how the white man, he, here's heaven right now. He's mm-hmm. running the whole entire earth. Mm-hmm. When Christ returns, we're going to run the planet earth. We gonna be over all the races. Christ didn't come back here to let all the races hold hands and, and sing and, and dance together. That Christian mumbo jumbo. You think one hand no OG when Christ is in what is called the rapture? You mm-hmm. think one hand no rapture, rapture not in the Bible. You think mm-hmm. one hand no OG when Christ returns. Right. Christ coming to separate mm-hmm. everybody when he returns. Mm-hmm. Go back in the Revelation um, 7. I mean 6. Um, we were, we were yeah, 3 six. is it? 4? 5? Um, After the four, four, 4. Can I go yeah, go ahead. Right, um, and there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace on the earth. Right, that's talking about the world wars, what we just talked about the peace of the Christ. Right? Go down right. next week. Skip or oh, continue? No, no, continue. And that they should kill one another. Good. And there was given unto him a great sword. Right, talking about the world war three fighting the wars, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I just described with Christ. Mm-hmm. He come to separate everybody. Right. right. Verse 5. Mm-hmm. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. Right. So, so Christ busts open the, the third seal. Mm-hmm. Right. The, um, the third angel say, Come and see. Go ahead. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse. Right. A black horse. Go ahead. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. Had a pair of balances. A balance is like a scale to balance. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Verse 6, and I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say. I saw a voice in the middle of the beast saying, go ahead. A measure of wheat for a penny. Mm-hmm. And three measures of barley for a penny. Mm-hmm. And see thou hurt not the earth, the oil and the wine. Right. So you know what a voice in the middle of the beast was saying? Food will be worth nothing, but do not hurt Israel. Right. The black horse is famine. Mm-hmm. There's a word that the world is using right now. They're saying the bread basket on the earth is in trouble. Mm. It's talking about Russia. Right. Russia is the bread basket of the earth. Mm. 
the oil and wine is talking about the priest of the Lord. Right. So the Lord is telling the um, the black horse, right? The, the angel of the Lord, do not hurt black and Hispanic people. Mm-hmm. Even though it having a famine, don't hurt the priest of the Lord. I the oil and the wine. He has used the, the oil to anoint people. Mm-hmm. The priests and prophets of the Lord. Don't hurt them. You understand? He could hurt the other people with famine, but not Israel. Right? So, so there's a famine on the earth and there's going to be a starving one day. So mm-hmm. because the Lord is not hurting us, it, it's like, okay, one day I'm Taz over here, he's going to find some big giant apple. Mm-hmm. Right? That, that, that will last you for six months. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah, and why is everybody starving and having famine? Then, then another brother in the school, he go find some field with rice that could last you for five years. Right? So, so, so very soon everybody is going to be outside our school, not just coming to learn, but they're going to come for food and clothes, mm-hmm. etc. Right? Diapers, everything. Because we will not be hurt of the famine. Just like how I'm um, in Egypt, Joseph told them um, how to survive the famine. Mm-hmm. Well, we will survive the famine when that times come because the angel of the Lord is getting the orders to do not hurt the oil and wine, which is the priests and prophets um, of the Lord. And you could go into the next one. 12 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> go ahead. Right? Closing uh, comments. Uh, you want to send it? Yeah, yeah. tune into Black seconds. Watch, you know what I mean? Tune into Black Watch, all right? 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tune in and get all the news of what going on. Black, Hispanic, and independent people. Call us tonight.